Right, we've just had a delivery. I don't think it's an immersion tank. I know it's not an immersion tank. Right, this apparently, apparently, is a present for the stick. Oh, right. Now, there's a bit of a story with these. Right, so these should be our new 18 inch steel wheels with off-road tyres. Now, I am not convinced, everyone's telling me, I'm gonna get this right, that we should have KO2s. I've forgotten what brand they were. That's bad, isn't it? But KO2s, apparently, hold on, it'll come to me, it'll come to me, everyone's shouting at it. Those KO2s. Oh. But these are a set of genuine Land Rover 18 inch new Defender steel wheels. So they're 18 inch. I want to see what the offset is on them because I can't find any data what offset they should have on them. So here we go, we've got planks of wood and all sorts. So I got these off, I actually got these off eBay. A guy who watches our video, actually, um, and he was gonna, he was gonna uh, go off roading more on his Defender. But circumstances didn't allow and I think he had a change of job and stuff. So, right. so these are brand new wheels and tires. But let's have a look. And these are the tires that Land Rover used, apparently. So right, let me get these straps off. You don't want to watch me struggle with those. Right. Uh, he has packed them well. I've got some lush straps as well. Firewood George, job for you later. Cheers. Right then, doubly, look at that. Right, let's have a look at these bad boys. So he even went, he bought these, and he even went to the expense of having them powder coated. Come, come Whoa. Get powder coated black, I think the stick is gonna look good with those. They things. look so good. They look good, don't they? Yeah. Right. Um, what, what tires have we got in here? We have got Wrangler All Terrain Adventure. And the other thing I wanna see is what profile they are. So here we go, George, help me here. It should have, it should have the dimensions of them on here somewhere. Why can't I see them for looking? Ah, uh, it's here. So they're 255, let's get in the right way up. Go on, Go on. Oh, I'm too old for this then. Right, 255, 70, 18. So that's, right, and the other thing I wanted to look at is the offset. So let's have a look at the offset. It should be stamped in the rear. Whoa. Right, let's get my phone out, George, and see if we can see what the offset of these is. Right then, is there any? So it looks, you can see where the two, where it's welded there. It looks like a pretty solid wheel. Um, but where is the offset stamped? I'm expecting to see some numbers stamped in the rim somewhere. Well, we're going to have to have a look for that, aren't we, George? Yeah. Right, we'll have a look and see if we can find what the offset is. If not, we'll have to measure it. Right, keep watching. Right. I cannot see, written around the edge, there's a date code stamped in here, but I can't see the offset, so I'm going to have to manually measure it. So what I need to do is go off this rim, so this little edge here, I need to measure the width of the rim, and it doesn't matter where I measure from, because I'm only trying to find the middle, but I need to go from that rim edge there to the rim on the other side. So you see I've got this little plastic pot it's resting on, and, and I've got this little blue piece of metal I can go across, and that'll give me, I just hold that on there. Make sure that's not resting on the tire. Yeah, right. That'll give me the total width, which is about 220. Let me just check that again. Onto that plastic pot. Down to there. Sorry, it's 230. There we go. Can you see there? 230, okay. Right, so that's the total width. Remember that, we'll need that in a second. And then I'm gonna measure the distance to the face that the wheel bolts to the hub. So again, I'm on the, the metal rim here. All right, let's have a look. And that one there is about 160. So if you come around here, George, come around here, I'll explain what we've done. So this is the sort of cross section of the wheel, and this is your tire across the top. So we know that from the rim to that metal plate in the middle is 160. And we know that the total from rim to rim was 230. So the middle is 115, the center line. And the offset is the difference from the center line of the wheel and tire to the mounting plate. 
So our offset on these wheels is 45. So if you're looking at offset, these wheels are 45 millimeter offset. Right, the other thing with these wheels, if you get a set of these wheels, they have these wheel nuts. There's a part number there if anyone wants the part number. This is the part number of these. Now, they're a little bit strange. They've got a, sh a sort of 60 degree chamfer, then they've got a flat bit. Now I'd, I'm gonna have a look if that makes any difference. And they've got a 22 millimeter, you check across the top. So the spanner size, sorry, is 21 millimeters, sorry. It's 21 millimeters there, so that's the nut. But these are extortionate. They're about 10 pounds each wheel nut from Land Rover. So let's have a look at So that wheel nut has got to sit in that face there. So I'm just trying to see whether there's anything special on that face that they, no, this, that edge doesn't do anything. That edge is never gonna, it's just the 60 degree you can see there, I can roll that around. Right, so you just need to get yourself some 60 degree angled wheel nuts. Um, there we go, they look like fairly strong. I don't know what they're made from. Right, so that's that. So we'll find ourselves some slightly more powder coated, balanced, new tires. Um, so what do we reckon, George? Reckon we should try off-roading in those? Yes. And then if they're not good, we can get some of those KO2s that everyone's talking about. The proper knobbly. Like, they I, are. I don't really know how to say it, but... Knobbly. Um, Good grip. But, but the, right, a couple more things. So if you watched our video where we were trying to go up those steps, we've had some discussions on Facebook and stuff about this, and the guy, Adrian, who runs that event, said if he's, he's, he's filmed several people trying to do it, and he says when, when we hit the steps, we come along, and we're like going, boing! And we really do boing up in the air. And we've got too much air pressure. So if you imagine I had a football and I dropped it, it would bounce if it had a high pressure. But if I make it half flat, it would just go boodoo. So I think we need to run with lower tyre pressures. And other people have commented that. But I don't want to go on low tyre pressures with my 20 inch alloys. Because where you've got a bigger alloy, you've got less tyre. And if I let my tyre pressure down, the, the sharp angle on that step is going to go straight through the tyre and hit my rim. What I'm hoping is, with these 18-inch wheels, I've got a lot more tyre. I can let the pressure down. The rims are steel, so should be stronger and, in theory, less expensive than the alloys. And I'm going to need a compressor, because what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to the off-road day, let our tyres down a bit, then we're going to have to get one of those little plug-in compressors. Um, I was looking whether you could tap into the... Because the car's got a compressor on board for raising the air suspension. And I've got a pressurised air tank. And I'm not the only person to have had this idea. Um, so I am wondering how naughty is it to tap into the airline on the air tank and get myself a little... Psh, 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 and blow the tyres up. But some people are saying, oh you'll break your car compressor and all this. So, But I'm not going to be doing it every day, am I? I'm only going to do it once a while. What do you think, George? It might be a good idea. It might be a good idea. It'll be a good video. Be a good video. Right, so I've nearly finished waffling about the Stig's presents, but the Stig has got one other little present. Have you seen this one, George? I don't think so. Have you seen this? Cast your eyes this way. Right, we've got loads going on here. Look at this, George. Do you know what this is? No. No, let's have a look. This, George doesn't know what this is. Oh, it's, a, it's a box inside a box! Oh, this is heavy. It's a two-man lift, George. Look. I think I might have opened it upside down. I'm excited. What, what, what is it? What have George, you done? Heavy. You don't know what a war one is, do you, George? I, I don't think so. Everyone out of home is screaming, George. Anticlimactic. Anticlimactic. Hey, Ross, can we know what it is? But George doesn't. George has never seen one of these before. Oh, a winch. A winch. Right. So, we have been sent a 
Xeon 10S Platinum winch with not the metal cable with the lush plastic cable and I think we've got like a remote control for it oh and that is nice kit. oh look that is look at that look at that we are going to be able to get ourselves out of trouble George that is professional we will not have the embarrassment of having to go please please I'm stuck can you help me right now this is a love gift right so here we go stay there George right so Land Rover and and I need to take my hat off to Mr. Skywalker here well, we gave his name away in the last video. He said, look, Simon's had a few problems with the Defender, which we did at the start, didn't we, George? Yeah. And we had to go backwards and forwards to the Defend to the main dealer. And he's, he's managed to persuade the people... Finesse. Finesse. Well, he's managed to finesse his management team at Land Rover and said, look, you should give Simon a little present for all the hard work he's been through and the good job he's doing. So they have given me, and I do appreciate it, um, and I should appreciate you guys watching, because I'm sure if you guys weren't watching, Land Rover would not be giving me a free winch. So they've given me a winch, and not only have we got the winch, George, we have got this, and this, oh, all, and this, oh, 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 wow, and this, and all of that. Now, well, we've got a whole massive metal sump truck. Metal, so we have got to, Part of the deal is, he said, look, could you do us a favour and fit it? Obviously, we're going to fit it, aren't we, George? Yeah. Uh, so we are going to make a video to show everyone how to fit the winch, if we can work it out, onto your Land Rover Defender 2020. So hopefully, I'm not going to get around to it next week, but maybe in the next couple of weeks, we'll get around to that. So the Stig has got some presents. We've got new wheels, new tyres, new winch. Good job. Right, I'm out of breath now. I'm done. Right, keep watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much.